Hi, my name is Paweł Spychalski and most of you should recognize this flight controller. What is it? It's probably the best and the most popular flight controller designed for the fixed wings aeroplanes running INAV and also the Ardu pilot, I think. This is Matek F405 wing. The best flight controller for the aeroplanes of 2018, in my humble opinion, and I'm saying this because I really think so. This really is probably even maybe one of the best flight controller designed for these things ever. But um, we like to change. We like to have new stuff and uh, new is always better, like, right? This is why. This is why we have this thing. What is it? It's the even newer flight controller designed also for the aeroplanes, but this time based on, not on F405 uh, CPU, but on F722 microcontroller. 7, 4, everybody knows that 7 is better than 4, so yeah, let's use this. Why? Why this thing? I'm saying this on a multiple occasions, I already said that on multiple occasions. F7 series of STM32 CPUs is better for our usage than the F405. Yes, the current INAV and Betaflight kinda maybe are not really using everything that those CPUs MCUs give you, but they are a better because of very one and super important feature. It's not the speed, it's not the clock, it's not the number of ports and stuff like that. It is the much more superior I.O. subsystem, because every single serial port on the F7 series has built-in inventor inverters. So, you can connect SBUS, you can connect the smart port telemetry, any telemetry, anything, to really to any serial port you want. In case of the 405, the manufacturer put the one simple inverter on UART1RX, plus uh, gave you the soft serial on the TX, so you have to connect the smart port to this pin and SBUS to this pin if you want to connect this something else is just not working. With this thing, no problem. Really absolutely no problem at all because any serial port can handle everything. Absolutely everything. They, they indeed are very very similar designs. The same more or less form factor, the 7 to 2 looks to be, I don't know, maybe 2 millimeters smaller on this, on the longer axis. The height is also the same, the same grommets, the same place where the SD card is, the same vertical uh, USB port, uh, the same input over here, although 405 is up to 6S, but 722 is up to 8S. We all love more. <laughs> I only recently mm, hands on the 8S uh, ESC system. Also, right now you can connect the full servo plug to the motors because it's not only like two parts, but it's actually three, three places when you can solder the pins in. The 722 has only one I2C port because honestly, you really don't need two I2Cs and this allowed the uh, manufacturer to free some. Uh, from space on the board. Uh, there are also only six servo outputs. The 405 had seven servo outputs, but <laughs> really, yeah, okay, on the big aeroplane, maybe it really makes sense when you have uh, two ailerons and the rudder and the elevator, and maybe you can also install flaps, and then you can have on top of that the to um, additional set of ailerons on the wing, so very complex, but in really four, five, six, bomb drop. You have a fl kind of flying wing or the regular iron plane and the bomb drop and whatever you want. Also, there were some changes in the 
currents the, the thing can handle. Luckily the 5 volt uh, is still 2 amps and uh, 2 amps on 9 volt and volts and, and stuff like that. So more or less this is the same design. The evolution of the same design, only instead of 405, yes, I know in INA 405 can handle 8 kilohertz, but 7 to 2 can handle only 4 kilohertz, but this is because of thermalization. And do you really need 8 kilohertz mode on the airplane? And this is only airplane flight controller, so mm, it doesn't really make sense. I'm I'm very eager to put 722 wing on my new build. I'm currently doing this relatively big 1.2 meter flying wing. Uh, so originally I ordered the 405 for me in, with intention to put it there, but when I received the 722 wing, I just decided, yeah, come on, this will go there. This is better, this is nicer. And I really do not have to, let's say, run 8 kilohertz mode. Oh, also, just like the 722 SE, that 722 wing has the two camera inputs, so you can choose which uh, camera will be connected to OSD and to VTX. Great thing if you want to look around, have two cameras, one facing forward, second one facing downward or backward. You can have like two cameras and switch them with a flip of the switch inside of both Betaflight and 9F, but of course you will probably only use INAF with this board and also has the in and on and off uh, pin that allows you to power off and on something like the VTX uh, or maybe uh, extra lights or, or really whatever you want because one of the pins, uh, where is the pin? The pin is VSW over here uh, it is powered with the supply voltage only by default, but you can turn it off with the flip of the switch on, on your radio. I, I think I will use this to make some lights somewhere. I, I will figure something out or maybe just flip the VTX off. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. I don't know yet. The same, slightly better, slightly newer um, and uh, yeah, definitely. This is just a slightly better version of 405. If you really do not need the one extra... Oh, and number of uh, serial ports. It Okay, this one also has one less serial port. But this has six, this one has five. Still plenty, plenty. If you do not need six serial ports and uh, seven servo output, Puts, then probably this is better because this has the same but in a slightly better form factor and with those new features of choosing the camera and powering something on and off this is really 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 nice I'm looking forward but to put this on my flying wing but first I I really have to finish painting laminating because what I got is just some cut uh, styrofoam and now I have to do everything and it's oh, taking so much time. Anyhow, thanks for watching. Until the next one. Bye.